All right, we are going to do a quick, obviously, market rundown. And then I want to do a trade review of how I traded the double bottom today. Um, so as it's going to be a video, it's going to be what everyone has always asked for. It will be a video of me on my DOM trading. Wow. Um, you, I, I don't think that you guys are really going to take much from it. I want you guys to, in terms of the DOM, but I want you to be focused on areas that were called out and understand that um, you will see me do an action and then say it out loud and that I'm actually doing that action and to hopefully give a more constructive vision of what we're talking about when we're saying things. Um, it is a trade that I would not say was picture perfect for me. You'll see that. Um, but I will try to pause and go through um, some mentality um, as well. So please, and as we go through it, um, if you have comments, questions, ask them. Um, I had to do it through Windows Media Player. And when I was kind of doing it at the end of the day, it was really struggling when I would rewind the video because I messed up setting up my computer somehow and it wants to just save everything to OneDrive. So it's having like OneDrive communication errors. Hopefully it ends well. I need a new program for it. Regardless, we'll go through it. Um, I'll talk through what I was looking at, what I was thinking, um, areas where I was a little nervous about my position. Um, you'll see a lot of a couple of things. Like, obviously this is a precursor, but when we get into it, like I never, I never move my stop down. Stop only moves up, and um, I sell into known resistances. And then once I have pretty clear runner, then I move up. And yeah, but we'll go through it. Okay, so um, we're gonna do this area pretty quick and dirty here um, in terms of market structure. So uh, Thursday, Friday. This is a bunch of Garbo structure, right? This is not great. This is not great. Um, Thursday, into our close, as well as into Globex, some major absor absorption into this 43.30. Um, from the ask, right, we have aggressive buyers coming into the ask to hold this. We're able to pop, make the move. Um, I, I, so really focus on this area before we really get into much more. Um, this is a big area, though. I mean, we're it's a hundred points below us. It still is right um, for our first constructive volume through um, Wednesday high close Globex the whole shebang. Um, so we have a ton of area. If you guys read in the newsletter channel. Yesterday, I said it's kind of a counterintuitive week um, because really sellers would like to see us up here to then really exploit this weakness. While buyers, the main look is, okay, can we hold here? If yes, that's very strong. But more so, what happens on these retests um, into here and into here? And if these retests could be strong and reclaim 80, Right, that is going to be a stronger and, in my opinion, more constructive look for bulls than just a straight bid. Um, we want to reignite some of this liquidity on the buy side, as well as get sellers to get excited into the lows to then run back. Um, so we'll just quickly go through the pathings. We'll start. Uh, we'll start bearish. Why not? So the idea with the bearish. Everything we just said, um, we want to see a trade down first into 43.30 on a failure of 80. Um, this look above, we just talked about as well, where this is preferable to trap some late buyers um, and then trade back down through 80 and start this structure. The whole idea here for both buyers and sellers is, for sellers, can we come down into this area, right? Drop seller value, put in a selling node in this poor structure, 
right, with a lower high, this will start our daily one time framing down, right, and then just continue. Come to our next area, this Wednesday, early Thursday structure. Same idea, come up, fill. We want to see preferably a selling node form and then get back into our week and two week value. Um, failure at Wednesday high, same idea, right? So just one time frame down, chunk it all the way back down and get back into 4180 kind of zone. Um, you will see, we'll switch over here to the bullish, that it's basically the same idea, but the difference is, is we do not put in the lower high, right? And I think these tests have a lot of potential to occur just with our structure. The question is, what is the secondary move then, right? If we remember the bearish that we just looked at, looks like this, and back up and down, right? So if we get any of these structural tests and fills, I am more concerned with the secondary moves um, and if we can continue to, you know, if we put in a P profile um, on a test in here, we want to see a strong move out, right? The rejection is what the bearish example was. So things to look for throughout the day. Um, very quickly, then when we go look at our neutral market, same idea. We're still looking for these structural tests, right? But instead of getting um, the lower high continuation, Right, or the higher high continuation, we just kind of stick in this zone and fill this structure. We can make excess looks above and below, that's fine. Um, with the range we have trading two-sided, you don't need to be like, this is a strictly bullish trend week um, to take longs or vice versa for shorts. Um, but it's either, do we hold this area and push up, right? Do we fail this area? And then we look here, then what happens? Do we put in a lower high? Do we sit here, our seller is aggressive and come down? And then kind of just repeat that process. So a lot of things for me is just on a day-to-day -day basis in this area. Um, and yeah, just seeing, can we put in the higher high? Can we put in a lower low? Or do we sit and build? Anything that builds above 43.30, can be considered quite bullish, but understand that if we trade down and through, um, you have pretty nice range here to exploit shorts on breaks. So I know that was pretty quick and dirty. There's not much else until we clean this structure, right? We either hold and look up, like I said, or we clean structure. And then as we clean structure, we just take it on a day-to-day -day basis and see, okay, are we are we maintaining one time framing down? Are we breaking lows with lower highs, right? If yes, I'm not fading trend. I'm going to short. Am I going to short too? Well, here, here, right? Um, vice versa for buying. Um, if we come up over a level, I'm willing to buy a retest to look for a higher high. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's there, it's really gross structure. But in terms of a trade plan, there's not much to do in terms of foresight. Um, you just need to understand this and this, this and this, and then we just wait, right? And try to trade two and trade through. Do we have any questions? I know that was pretty quick and dirty, um, not too in depth. Uh, do people see the poor structure kind of understand um, that it's more about the secondary move after a test. Like I said, even for bulls, it would be almost preferable at least to come down into here. Yeah, that would be, I don't think it's a horrible idea. Um, I, I would almost still prefer spreads. Um, like in here, you can take a spread, and then if we get up and over, you can be more directional, whether you want to do shares or just you know naked options. Um, but there's definitely potential for some buys in these areas. I would be a little bit more protective on dip buys and a little bit more aggressive on breakouts, um, just because of the nature of the structure, but any other questions, 
comments, concerns? Does anyone have a different read? Does anyone want? Yes, sauce. Yep, exactly. I will say if we do trade through 4420, 4430, um, you have, let's just go back to the bullish. We didn't really talk about these kind of high targets. Um, but you do have potential to then get into this node. And that's going to be our main bullish look if we continue with our trend. Now, something to understand is if we do make this for this move um, down into here, everyone and their dad is going to be calling for this inverse head and shoulders. Literally everybody. Um, so watch out for some traps for the technical traders. All right. Anything else? Just set a stop at the lows. Easy. Easy 200 point stop for our entry. Beautiful. <laughs> Easy 200 point stop. Well, I, Rory does. We know Rory has liquidity for the 200 point stop. <laughs> 